Hey YouTube, I took Rule 11 here with my initial review of the iOS 7. See here I have it in the beta version 1, so it won't be as fluent and smooth as future updates or the full version, but you can see this is good enough for the example I'm going to show you here. See it's running iOS 7 right there, and you can see there's a lot of new features with iOS 7. One thing that I do really like about iOS 7 is this lock screen. Now it's very simple, you can get to Notification Center, you can get to Control Center, which I'll talk about later, you can unlock anywhere on the screen. You don't doesn't have to be in the bottom. You can unlock it from anywhere, and you can go to your camera just from swiping up at the bottom, just like that. Now, when you unlock it, you can see that the icons float down, which is part of the new animations for iOS 7. And you see here's notification center. You can have all. You can have today, which gives you the weather, the calendar, and the reminders, and you can go to mist. Now you can also pull up control center, which is one of my favorite features, which gives you quick access to settings like brightness, wallpaper, music, and flashlight, etc. Now also you get kind of redesigned settings application, and it looks a little bit smoother and cleaner in my opinion. There are some new features, and I'll definitely be posting more videos about it soon. You see inside folders, you can have pages, which is something nice. One thing I wish it had was more applications per page, so you wouldn't have to have so many pages. Also wish that you could tap inside the application to close it, but if you tap below or above, you can still close the application. And you see in applications like Twitter, it is pretty much unchanged. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter at itechworld11. Now with this, you also get some other changes. You can see like Safari icons are different, and a lot of different icons are different. Another cool feature is that the clock moves in live time, so the clock will actually show the right time. A lot of the applications are redesigned and pretty cool including the applications inside it. You can see here the weather is actually it'll have live backgrounds behind it and also on the home screen you can tilt it around to have live wallpapers. And I will have a video of live and 3D wallpapers so don't forget to check that out in the description. As you can see here you also have the live wallpapers in the lock screen. Another cool feature about this is iRadio iRadio is a free music service which lets you stream music with ads or if you have iTunes Match with ad free. And you can have stations, you can have playlists, all that, and you can stream through Apple's iRadio or iTunes Radio Store. Another thing I like about this would be just the overall flow in OS. There's no longer a spotlight search, instead, you swipe down to get to Spotlight where you can search for it. I really like everything about it, including the mail, which has been redesigned and it looks really cool. And everything about iOS 7 so far has been pretty good. Now, since this is just a beta, battery life isn't very good. You see, this is just from uh, using it this morning for a few hours. It's already at 46%. However, with future beta updates, this will get better. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with iOS 7. There's a lot of changes that I do like. There's some that don't really make much of a difference, but overall, it's pretty cool. See, here is multitasking. You can see what it looks like right there. Um, you close applications, you swipe up, and you can even swipe multiple at a time. So it's pretty cool in that way, and I definitely like that feature. So that's pretty much it. That's just my quick review of iOS 7. This is beta number 1, and I'll have videos updating it. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this video, and check out my other iOS 7 videos. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, I took 11 and share this video and give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.